video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can use gradients and patterns in 32-bit colour mode and you can create really really super colourful effects using scripts. Now first thing to do actually go to Photoshop and image and 32-bit colour mode so 32 bits per channel. Once you're in that now just go over to the shape tool select shape tool and just drag that out. it's a shape layer so you can now go over to a layer and a layer style and gradient right so that's the default one but I've got some selection of gradients here these ones are available on the graphic extras website so you can select those and I'm going to apply them as a radial so that's the first one now, what I'm going to do next is going to turn it into a smart object because it's really quite nice to com combine using smart objects. So I'm just going to go to a layer, smart objects, and convert to smart object. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create another one. So Alt, just drag that down slightly. And I'm just going to go over to the layers. If you can't see the layers, it's window and layers. Just select difference and what you'll see is a really, really obviously you can combine it and obviously you go straight over the top it just goes black now obviously you don't really want that particularly it's not much use but you can combine and create really unusual color effects just by moving that around in difference mode and of course you don't have to stop there you can actually use two so you can actually create another one and that can be combined as well and again, of course, you can drag that around. And, and again, you can hold the Alt key down and create even more. Obviously, eventually it gets a very unusual color effect. But right, there is a certain point to quit. Right, once you've actually decided, I really like that pattern. That's just that inner part there. Now, it's not going to be an actual pattern. Obviously, it's going to be used in patterns. But the thing is, you don't have to use just patterns with the pattern features. You can use very colourful effects. So, next thing to do, I'm just going to flatten it. I don't need to uh, keep it as a. So I'm just going to now just select that area that I quite like as a colour. Now I could of course modify it even more as various colour options available. Not as many because obviously when when you're in the 32-bit colour mode, number of the features are lost, but you you've got a range of different ones out. Right. What you can do then is edit and define pattern still use that and you'll notice when you go into 32 bit mode there is a little option there for 32 so it tells you it's 32 so click OK now once you've done that I'm just going to remove that now I don't want that anymore you can now go to edit and of course you can use layer and pattern I'll use that one quickly click OK and there's the actual thing. You can see it's not a pattern, particularly because you've obviously got it's not a seamless design anyway. But that's not such an issue when you use it with now edit and fill and pattern. And I'm just going to go for the pattern I've just created. Again, you can see 32, 32, 32. These ones are created earlier. And obviously any number of possible ones. You can make a whole range of different options there. Now, script, random fill, click OK. And it comes up with a little uh, dialogue, and you can see the color effects there. Now you can modify that. You don't have to go for color randomness. And it really depends on the actual pattern you've got. And you can just click OK, and, and there you have it. A really nice super color. Now, of course, probably best to. Uh, I'm just going to apply it onto. I don't want to go to a layer. I'm just going to go apply edit fill and apply it again click OK you modify the density make it full range so it doesn't end up with these so there you have it you've got a nice covered the whole entire design with a super colorful unusual sort of abstract colorful gradient in 32-bit color mode and now, of course, if you want to actually go back to 8-bit color mode, just quickly go to image and 8-bit channels. And it comes up with this HDR toning. And, of course, you can 
modify it. It's very subtle difference. Click OK and there you have it. Hope you found this uh, quick tutorial of interest. Thank you much.